Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and uh, we are going to update this uh, Monday, December the 3rd, the um, Windows 10 October 2018 update rollout, how it's going. A lot of uh, people have been uh, finding this uh, very interesting. I'll answer a couple of questions I've had over the past uh, few days, and we're going to talk also about uh, who is still affected. So part of you have known, last week I talked about the Intel drivers, new Intel drivers. It's not for every machine yet, so there are still some Intel drivers that are not compatible. So you might have an Intel driver, an Intel-based machine, but still not have the updated driver for Windows 10 October 2018 update. So some of you might not see it because of that. Still, a lot of you have been asking me, I don't see it. Why don't I see it when I go to Windows Update? That's because for some reason you are not yet compatible according to Microsoft. The way they're pushing it right now, every machine that they know that they are sure everything should be okay, they're pushing it to these machines. So if you don't see it, there could be something that's still not compatible. And don't forget, it's rolling out really slowly. Uh, last week, the number, number we had was 2.8% only of Windows 10 users. That means it's really being updating very slowly. They're really checking everything. I would guess that one of the things that's going to happen is it might start rolling out faster next week. Why? Because next week, December 11th, there's going to be Patch Tuesday. And one of the updates, of course, will have a lot of bug fixes for the October 2018 update. It's being tested in the release preview ring right now. So that means that a lot of people are uh, going to, or they are testing it now, and a lot of people will be getting that update on their machines. But with that update, it might actually fix a lot of things that are in the process of preventing you from getting that October 2018 update. Whatever happens, um, you know, I see people asking all the time, should I go and use the media creation tool and update from there? Don't push it. There's no necessary, uh, it's not necessary to push it, okay? You don't, you're not missing out on much, and it doesn't matter if you're still on the April 2018 update. The important thing is your PC is running well. So, you know, it'll, it'll be there when it'll be there. Just wait. And uh, don't worry, you're not alone if you don't have it. Most people don't have it, and it's not showing up. Um, that said, like I always say, I've got four or five machines here that are running it with absolutely no glitches at all on none of my computers. And uh, for the most part, people are actually having a great update. But there will be a patch Tuesday. If you're one of those that have a little something, a glitch, or, you know, I've seen a couple of people mentioning freezes. If you're wondering, uh, you know what, next week, patch Tuesday, there should be a big update with bug fixes in it. So uh, that's where it's going to happen. We'll update, of course, the situation when that update is arriving and uh, talk about it for sure. There's a new set of, of, of users that are actually being blocked from this update also. If you, um, it, it, there's a thing called Morphosec uh, Anti-Malware Solutions. This is not an antivirus you download and install. Uh, you probably never heard the name. It is an anti-malware solution that is integrated within some other types of software. Uh, a lot of uh, Microsoft endpoint solution stuff include that. And uh, there are some software that have anti-malware integrated into them that use the engines from Morphosec. Now, if you have something that has that, it's not updating to October 2018 update because there's a glitch there is a problem with that uh, engine. So Microsoft is not updating your machines. Of course, they're working with the company. There will be an update that will actually render that compatible and things should work okay. But un uh, for now, uh, don't you know search for anything that is, uh, is not showing up. Don't you know intentionally go and, and download the October 2018 update. Wait for it to arrive as usual. Nothing really that much more to add on the so on the problems here. Um, of course, I get all the time, you know, the the questions of uh, should I force it, and you know, I, I I'll say it. Don't, please don't. It's not worth it. There's nothing really much more happening on the, that side. Like I said, the majority of people are okay, have absolutely no problems with it. 
So, um, you know, just wait for it to happen. It's going to be there. It's slowly running out, and there are people every day that are getting it. Someday, you'll wake up, you'll look at Windows updates, and your PC is going to update to it, and things should be okay. But I think it's going to probably go a little faster starting next week after the patch Tuesday, and the bug fixes they'll add to it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.